Happy Friday and welcome back to my channel. If you have not been here before, hi, I'm Alex and it's very nice to have you here. So today I have five things to do, which seems like a lot. By the way, I've uploaded multiple videos this week. I don't know whether to say you're welcome or I'm sorry. <laughs> But you're here, so that's great. Okay, anyway, I have five things to do this week. I mean, today, which seems like a lot, but three of them are just for me, like cosmetic stuff. One of them I have to do. It's just a chore. And then the other one is I'm finally going to do the entryway. Uh, oh, crap, I need to charge the battery. Fantastic. Okay. Um, I need to dye my eyelashes. They are like just really light gray and basically see-through, so I need to dye them. I do that like every six weeks. Um, that's one. Two, I need to message the eyebrow woman on Instagram. Um, so that should that's like low effort, shouldn't take me long. Uh, third thing, I need to paint my nails. I removed the polish yesterday and I need to figure out what I'm gonna do. Um, instead of my signature black polish, I'm feeling like a clear coat with some line art might be in order. Don't know yet. So that shouldn't take me very long if that's what I do. Um, and then for my, why are there ants in this plant? Um, hello, sir. You were not invited in this house. Okay. Um, anyway, my project, I'm finally going to do the entryway, which I feel like I have told you guys about for weeks. And the reason that I haven't done it is because I cannot bring myself to go to Home Depot or Lowe's because that means I'm going to have to ask somebody to cut the wood for me or buy a miter saw myself. Both of those options do not appeal to me, so I have been putting it off. So I am going to force myself to do it by using what I have in the house it's not gonna look like how I wanted it to look, but we will have an actual dedicated entryway if I do it that way. So we're gonna do that today. Shouldn't take me long. Just paint and hang up hooks. Um, I need to clean 13's tank. If you are new here, 13 is my tadpole. <laughs> I uh, became a tadpole mom by accident. So uh, raising him through the winter so he doesn't die. Um, what else do I need to do? I think that's it. Did I list off five things? Okay, there, that is the second ant that I have found. Oh my gosh, my camera. Okay, my battery is dying, gotta charge it. I'm gonna clean 13's tank, okay, bye, be back. I have been productive while the battery was charging. I cleaned off our wraparound porch. Um, I did the tadpole tank, 13's tank. Um, I started ripping up the sod for the flower bed and then I decided, mm, this is too much. <laughs> um, I cleaned the windows and I did dishes and Charlotte has been outside the entire time. Oh, you hear her meowing? It's because I came outside and now she wants to be in my lap. I'll show you how we have her um, out here. Hello, baby cat. She was just sleeping over here and like cleaning herself and stuff. Okay, I'm gonna get you out, baby. You like being outside, honey? Time to paint. Oh. Let's do this. Oh, just so you guys can see for reference, because the camera won't get it all. Here is what we're working with. I think our ceilings are 12 feet tall. They might be 10. I really don't know. Okay. Um, I'm going to take everything down, use painter's tape and tape it off. Where's my paint stuff? Oh, I couldn't find my regular paint brushing stuff and the little tray. So... This is what we're working with today. I found this in the closet, or not in the closet, the laundry room storage area, that little shelf thing that I showed you guys before. Um, so this is what we're doing. I will probably do a time lapse and put music over it. So thanks for watching this section. 
of today's vlog. <laughs> My husband told me it was probably over there, and I was like, no, I looked. Boo-boo! That was my first time removing one of these. Pretty cool. I lost my screwdriver. It's like one of those screwdriver sets where it has the removable or the changeable bit on the end that's magnetic. I don't know where it is. I'm gonna pause the video and go find it. I have no idea where it is, so. Manual screwdriver, it is. Oh, actually, what are these hooks? These are the hooks that I'm gonna hang up. They're the double hooks. Do they not have screws? Oh. Wow, those are tiny. That's not going to do it. What kind of screwdriver? Oh. Anyway. Here are the hooks that I got, the double hooks. I'm probably only gonna put a couple now that I have to like actually manually do it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna use eight. How many are in this pack? Ten, perfect. Okay. <sighs> At least this thing is cute. It's um, cast iron. I'll put it somewhere else in the house. Okay. Well, that doesn't bode well. <laughs> There's one stud. <laughs> Let's paint. I just realized you guys can't see anything I'm doing. This is straight as it's gonna get. Oh, I need paint. One second. I don't have a paint key, sorry. But I do have a butter knife. I don't have a butter knife, but I can use this. I hope you weren't expecting a nice color because it's just cream. <laughs> I actually think I want to do wallpaper in this area, but I have to persuade my husband. Should you paint like this at all ever? No. But am I going to leave the house to get what I need? No. <laughs>
first coat is done. I'm gonna wrap this in plastic wrap, clean up the paint can and stuff, or like seal it, and we'll do a second coat later, um, and then we'll hang up the hooks later too. Well, we'll probably hang up the hooks tomorrow, but. This is it so far. Okay, so future state, there's gonna be trim here. Oh wait, I can't point. But there's gonna be trim where the where it is separated. So the reason that I had to go all the way up to the ceiling, oh. The reason that I had to go all the way up to the ceiling um, and not match the door frames is because the frames are not the same height. They're off by maybe like two or three inches, so it would have looked really dumb. Um, so the plan is to have trim and then put a shelving up at the top. See how they're different heights? Um, and then put shelving at the top so we can have storage baskets and then you won't really be able to tell that it kind of looks weird, but it definitely looks weird. I can see how it looks weird. I might eventually just paint like this the same color so it doesn't look as weird, but we'll see. I have had the same box of plastic wrap since I was in college and I graduated college 10 years ago. It's almost done though, but dang, that lasted a long time. Good morning, happy Saturday, and happy New Year's Eve. Um, I'm gonna wrap up today's vlog, well, yesterday's vlog, and get this edited and uploaded today. So if you are watching on Saturday on New Year's Eve, uh, just know that this is this is what I look like today. <laughs> um, so if you're watching in the future, happy 2023. Uh, I hope to hear from you guys. How are you guys celebrating the new year? Or do you celebrate the new year? I think um, Babe and I are going to make our favorite like snacky food, we call them fat sandwiches, and we just load up like so much stuff. Um, and yeah, we just pick out on these fat sandwiches. So we're gonna be doing that. Highly doubt I will make it to midnight. I might make it to 11 p.m., we'll see. Um, but I did wanna show you guys the entryway because it's done. <laughs> oh my gosh. You can't really tell, but I did four hooks, so there's six here, three, three, and then one each over there. I'm so pumped. Um, and then, oh, this is the same though. The shoe rack stuff is the same. So yeah, that was a quick project. Um, it took me maybe like an hour, hour and a half total to paint, and then maybe another like half an hour to hang up all of the hooks. So. Very, very quick weekend project using what I had at home. Um, I did not have to go to the hardware store, so yeah. Um, I'm gonna finish my coffee. I'm going to edit this video, and I will see you guys in 2023. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for commenting. Thank you for liking. Really just thank you for being here, and I hope you guys have a wonderful New Year's Eve and a wonderful start to your 2023. Bye!